All right, guys, so now we're in Construct 2. And our goal is going to be to create a resolution or a window size for our game that will be compatible with most all screen sizes when it's stretched, scaled, uh, however you want to talk about it. Okay? So let's go back and look at our, um, our resolutions here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually work off this iPhone 4 uh, resolution. Okay? Um, and, I'll, and I'll kind of explain that a little bit <clears throat> why we're going to do this, but mainly because it's the lowest common denominator. <clears throat> it has its resolution fits basically in all the other resolutions. Okay, if that makes sense. All right, but we also want to take note of um, the other max res the max um, sizes, which is 1136 um, on the vertical and 1024 on the horizontal. All right, got our 1024 from our iPad. Or 1136 from our, um, our our iPhone 5. Okay, and I'm, the reason I'm not worrying about the retina stuff is because it's basically just a multiplication of these numbers times two. So you can work off that if you want to. Um, I usually go lower and just have um, higher quality graphics in the game. So when it is scaled up, uh, that it still looks um, fairly decent. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about the retina uh, display stuff because um, we don't really need to. All right, so back in Construct 2, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a layout size that is 780 by, uh, now 1136 was our biggest the other way, so let's do by 11, or let's go by... Oh, let's go 800 by 1200, just to be safe. Okay, and I'm going to do the same for our margins. Now, um, make this a little smaller. Now, what we want to do for our window size is we actually want to make our window size our lowest common denominator, which was our 640 by 960. Okay, so you can see the window size here. All right, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to name it Guide. I'm going to lock it, and I'm going to add a new sprite to that layer. All right, I'm going to color it yellow, just like that. You can color any color you want. All right, and I'm going to name this guy Window Guide. All right, I'm going to put it dead center, which we were at 800 by 1200 for our, um, our layout size. So I'm going to put it at 400 by 600. I'll put it right in the center. All right, and the size of it is going to be our window size, which is 640 by 960. Okay, I'm going to set its opacity to 25, so it's see-through. <clears throat> and this right here is our uh, window size, or our we'll call it our safe zone. Okay, this yellow area is our safe zone. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have a, a background image of something. It would be a solid color or the background image of your game. Um, but this is kind of, this white area is going to kind of be your overflow, where um, you don't care if what's in this area gets cut off. Okay, I'm going to basically do just a blue background, because we're going to do a little uh, uh, shmup, shoot up game, so it won't matter much. But just think of this as your safe zone. So if you're building, like, your title screen, you know, you'll want to put your your title uh, and your buttons and everything in this within this green area or I'm sorry this yellow area okay so that's our safe zone so no matter which way this game scales we have enough play in all the different areas to where the game will still look good it'll still only be in this area so if your game ends up going on the iPad which is you know gonna be wider like this You'll see more of the background, and your game will just be in this area, but you won't get those ugly black bars. Okay? So that's the purpose of the guide, and we're going to work on that. And then we're also, now, when you're testing on computer, you want to leave it at letterbox scale, because if you change it um, to scale outer, it's going to look really weird in the browser. I'll just tell you that right now, especially if you're doing a landscape mode. Okay? So keep a letterbox scale while you're testing, but when we export, we're going to export to uh, to scale outer for Cocoon JS. 
All right, so that's it for the first step. Hey guys, so we're back. So all I've really done is uh, I just created a background and I made it uh, blue because it's going to be the sky. Uh, that's all I really did off camera. Uh, what I want to show you right now is if uh, if we go ahead and run this, uh, you'll see that our window is not centered or the game is not centering around our window. Okay, so what we want to do is we actually want to go into our event sheet and on the start of layout, we want to set the scroll the scroll to X to the center of our screen, which is 400. All right, we want to set our scroll Y to the center of the screen, which is 600. All right, and that will essentially fix the, the center area, okay? Um, the other thing we want to do is we actually want to go ahead and take our window guide, and we want to make that invisible. So when we do run the game, uh, it's now invisible okay awesome so now that that's part done um, and we can change this scroll to if, if we need to later um, if you need to scroll to your plane or something there will be some adjustments but uh, for the most part uh, especially for this particular game or any game where it's just you know one screen at a time this method will work Okay, so that's setting up the scroll too. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add some, just some gameplay. You know, these videos aren't about how to make a game, so uh, I'm gonna do this other stuff off screen, and then I'll come back with uh, with a working game, and then we'll work from there.